These are my friends from Malaysia. Hi. <laughs> wow. Nice, crispy, right? And very juicy. I'm gonna take one more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just. Good evening everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you live from Hangzhou, China, the capital of the Zafang province. This city is located only a 45 minute bullet train ride south from Shanghai and it's amazing. It reminds me of a European city. You know, lots of lights, wide sidewalks, beautiful buildings and I'm staying here in the center of the city next to Westlake and Hafang Street but tonight I'm gonna take you to eat some amazing Hangzhou food at grandma's home we're gonna eat some dishes like green tea with shrimp fish with pickled veggies and beggars chicken are you guys ready to go eat at grandma's home let's go and the restaurants located here in Tixu Tandi which is like a restaurant row with bars it is right on the water and as you can see, the restaurant is right here. It's at, like on a canal, actually, not on the West Lake. West Lake is deeper in, but yeah, I can't wait to go. I mean, it looks so packed right now. Hopefully, I can get a seat. I don't have a reservation, so we'll see. Yeah, one, possible, just one. Just one, yeah. So my friend Jamie from Untour Food Tours recommended I come here and the reason she recommended it is because the food's amazing they also have an English menu. So they have an English menu as you see with pictures. The food looks outstanding. So many dishes but for me I'm going to get three dishes and that's like overkill because these are like family portion dishes. It's never like for one person. You know, they're very very big dishes. You usually have to share them. We have to wait a little bit. Okay guys, I'm number 87. It says 86 right now. Now, but I don't know. I don't know what that really means because it's two different things. So it's A, B, and C. Maybe I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see when they call me. I mean, there's a lot of people here. Easy, like 30 people waiting in line. But these are a lot bigger groups. You know, I'm just one person. In the end, the restaurant is too packed inside, so they sat me outside in the terrace, which is great. I mean, perfect temperature to be outside. And I got three things because they were like it's way too much. I got four or five. So I got what did I get? I got Westlake crisp fish as an appetizer. Then I got bullfrog with guandao sauce and what is this? Fried shell shrimps with dragon well tea. And I got a snow beer. So, and that all came out to 166. So we're talking about almost 30 bucks. Oh wow. And that is the what? The crispy fish? Fish. Fish. Oh wow. That looks amazing. Thank you. So here we have the crispy fish. Look at this, guys. It just looks incredible. This is some bones in there. It smells amazing. Yeah, yeah. And here's our beer. Snow beer. And the reason why we're not eating the beggar's chicken is because this place is so packed and it's really late. I mean, they're closing in about an hour and they sold out. Very unfortunate. They actually don't have a few things that I wanted, but it's okay. So we're gonna start with the fish, right? Go in here. Mm, it's almost like the pork ribs, but fish. The sauce, very similar to that. Mmm, very crunchy. Oh wow. This is the freshwater fish from the lake. Mmm, it's so juicy. I'm really enjoying the sauce. You can see the skin, a little bit of bones right there, a lot of meat. The bones are very tiny though, you can chew through them. Mm. Oh yeah, nice and crispy, not the flesh. Mm. Finger food, they're so good, I can just keep popping them. Now before I try the next thing, I'm gonna drink some of the beer to cleanse my palate. Right here we have the freshwater shrimp from the lake and it has green tea and then also a sauce on the side. Well, it looks like super, in a way like slimy, nice white sauce. Mmm, looks so good. And because I'm alone, I'm just gonna move my plates, grab my chopsticks and dive into this. They're like too slippery, like super slippery shrimp. I can't even get them. What the? I think you needed a spoon. Mmm, super fresh shrimp. It is like a slimy sauce, slimy white sauce. It's really good though. 
Mm. And here we have a vinegar sauce, so you just dip a little bit. Mmm. Really tasty. I'm really enjoying the freshwater seafood. You know? It's very different. It's less salt, almost no salt, and way less bones. Like the shrimp are tiny, the fish have very little bones. And one thing that you have to know about China is you hear that, that's everywhere. Like, like them like announcing stuff everywhere, but obviously they're just announcing the numbers right now, like, hey, it's your turn, it's B, whatever. And remember, always use your chopsticks, never use your hands in China because they consider your know, hands extremely dirty. So if you actually touch food with your hands, it's not good. So what do we have there, sweet and sour? This is sweet, sweet sour. These are my friends from Malaysia. Hi. <laughs> wow. Nice, crispy, right? And very juicy. I'm gonna take one more. <laughs> just one, just one. It's so good. It's it's almost like honey chicken. Yeah. You know, but but the sauce is a little different. Mm. Uh, this is because they put the vinegar. Mm hmm. Yeah. This one is like the yeah sugar and vinegar. And just pork. Pork. Bamboo shoots. That's some green peppers, some onions. So grab a little bit. Fried meat. Crab meat. Yeah. This. Oh yeah. Meat. Yeah. Oh wow. Quite nice, right? Take it away because I'm gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> Maybe one more tiny uh, bite. Yeah, yes, tiny yes, bite. Yeah, sure. so this is like a big noodle right here. Or am I wrong? No, it's bamboo shoot. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, bamboo shoot. It's bamboo shoot. It's bamboo shoot. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Thank you. Alright, this is the final dish we got and it's a massive one. What the? Basically, this is bullfrog soup with like peppers. These are the shishito peppers. Bullfrog. Okay. That's gonna be hard to eat. There's bones in there. Mm. Oh wow, super spicy. It's like a very creamy, spicy broth. And yeah, we have the shishito peppers in here. It's gonna be spicy. Mm. I love shishito peppers. They're also in Spain, they call it peppers de padron. Mm. Like, it's so big, and this is not even $10 for this. It's massive. Grab that. Ooh, way too hot. That one's been down there for a while. Minuscule bones, there it is. Flat bone. Mm. Mm, a lot of flesh right here. Looks like his leg. Mmm. Wow. Mm. So it's a chicken. It's extremely spicy though. It actually has two peppers on the menu. We're really, really spicy, I just wanted to try it. You have to go for all the pieces of the leg. That's where all the flesh is. It's really hard to get through anything else. I mean, there's a lot of meat here. And you're not really supposed to use your hands, right? So you're supposed to go... Hmm? Tiny bones. Try to find, like, the pieces that are, like, really fleshy, you know? Like, big balls of flesh. Mm. Just with that. Mm hmm the reason why bullfrog is special to you is because it comes from the lake, which is right here. Mm. Mm. Okay. That's really difficult. I love the spice here. I really love it. That's why I got it. Uh, you know, it's starting to hit me. But it's good. Yeah, it's like a big ball of flesh. Ooh. Well, first, pretty good. Not so bad. I thought it was gonna be weird, but it does taste like chicken, you know? Mmm, look at the chunks in here. The amount of bullfrog. Oh, and then how it has like a, a vegetable. Mmm. Tastes very similar to celery, but it's actually like a, a water vegetable. Mmm. I don't know, I'm, I don't know how much of this I can eat. It's really difficult. I might just go back to the fish and the shrimp and finish that off. This is like hard. Oh, this is it right here. 
So much flesh on this one. See? Big ball right there. Mmm. Take a part of that. Mmm. Mmm. Very difficult to eat and very spicy. Mm. Mm. My nose is dripping and I don't even have a napkin. That's the one thing I gotta say that I don't like about this restaurant is that there's no napkins anywhere. The thing is that you're not supposed to be eating with your hands so that's why I don't give you napkins. Mm. I'm done with the bullfrog soup. It's spicy, it's complicated. Get another piece, one with less bones. If you didn't tell me any better, I would have thought that was pork. For real. That's how like tender and like nice and yummy it was. And it does taste like a, like a nice day back rib pork from China. I need to relax. I've had a long trip. Nine days in. It's really not bad. Snow beer. Snow beer, I mean it's very light, but hopefully I can uh, drink some better beer next door. We'll see. What I really enjoy about the Hangzhou food is it's so freaking good. And it's authentic and it comes, like everything comes from the lake. That's what I like about this area. Buy in the morning, you know, the fisherman catches it, go to the market, you buy it, cook it, and you eat it. So it's super fresh. I don't know about the bullfrog. I mean, if you want to be very adventurous, try the bullfrog, but I think I'm done with the bullfrog. I'm touching that again. This area where the restaurant is, it's like a mini restaurant bar row, very nice, lots of trees. Here it says like they have Costa Coffee, they have a lot of different brands. And right here they have like a brewery. I mean, I wanted to check it out so I could just get a beer and see what they got, see if they have any good beers. Let's see, is there anybody in there? Yeah, this is called Pilsner Beer. Is that the bar's name, Pilsner? Yeah, it's called Pilsner. That's pretty cool. Oh, they even have a live band right now. Let's go inside. Let's get a beer. This bar is really interesting. They have like brown beer, uh, they have wheat beer, they have like dark beer, but I asked for a brown beer and they gave me this. It's 500 milliliter. It looks like something else. I don't think it's a brown beer. And it costs 68, so it costs like 10 bucks. 10 bucks for this beer. Pretty good. The only thing I like about this place is that it's live music. Everything else is this. I mean, there's, there's locals, but it feels very touristy. Something crazy is happening behind me. Something crazy. Hey, come on. I spent like 10 minutes there, drank the beer. That was such a weird bar. <laughs> it was just so different, I mean. I walk in, just like a lot of guys just smoking cigarettes, drinking beer. Then you have like three like models there at the bar, and they're like the owners. I mean, they couldn't really talk to me, but they like they own the bar. And then I'm like, okay, okay, I'm gonna drink my drink, get out of here. This area is very, very nice. You walk along this path, past a few restaurants, some bars, close to coffee, and then you get here to this beautiful lake, West Lake. It's gorgeous. I mean, as you can see just stunning over here to the right we have like the skyline and then over here to the left you just see like trees and just super peaceful the water's super flat right now and wow what a great way to end the night because this is really what i came here to see i wanted to see the west lake i mean i heard so many good things about it and that's why people come over here wow i'm really really loving the view here i'm gonna keep walking around a bit let's see what else we see all i'm seeing here are tons of couples making out by the water i mean it is a really nice place really romantic it's nice and cold very chill and now we're gonna enter like some temple we have a moon gate right here let's go through it i don't think this place is a restaurant i think it's a bar because you can see a lot of people are drinking, like basically everybody's drinking. The tables are lit up with these eggs that are lit up in different colors. You have live music and you have this path that goes along the entire lake. And it goes all the way around. It's sort of like their central park, right? I mean, sort of, because it's not so big, but it's on the water. So it just gives it a whole different feel, right? And you have like a lot of lights, a lot of Christmas lights, like everywhere. Look, what is this? <laughs> this bridge is like, it's lit up a little bit. It's not so lit up. It's pretty dark and there's no railings. I mean, you could like literally just stumble off of this into the water <laughs> in China. 
I love you, China. This is so freaking cool. And yeah, I mean, tonight we had an incredible meal. Grandma's home. Wow, the bullfrog, the shrimp, and the fish. I think the fish is my favorite. The fish was really good. The fish was like crispy, nice sauce. It's all about the sauces here in China. They always throw sauce on something. I mean, usually there's sauce. And then the shrimp. Shrimp are like a little slimy. Good vinaigrette. I'd rather have soy or spice with that. And then uh, the bullfrog. Not my favorite. I mean, spicy sauce. I, I would actually rather have had just the sauce and no bullfrog because the bullfrog was a little difficult to eat, you know? Actually, really difficult to eat. Like, extremely difficult. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then we explored the West Lake a little bit right there in that area. Really nice area. As you can see, we're like in a little park here, a little square. And guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I highly recommend coming to Hangzhou. You will love it. Peace.